Welcome back, Sethbling here. I wanted to try out real-time graphing in Minecraft, so let's check it out. I'm going to switch to swap slot 1, and it'll start graphing my movement speed. So if I start walking forward, okay, you can see the graph moves up there, and then when I stop, it's going to go back down. It's uh, kind of move around a little bit more. You can see the graph is kind of, you know, peaking. I don't move at a, quite a constant rate, so it kind of uh, moves around. There's a little bit of jitter. If I sprint, it goes a bit higher than if I was just, you know, walking or strafing or whatever. So, real-time graph using ocelots for a speed. I have some other things that I'm graphing. Uh, this one here is health, so I'm using creepers to represent health. And so I can intentionally take some damage here on this cactus. My health is going to start dropping pretty fast and the creepers lower, get lower and lower. Uh, as I slowly recover health from just natural health regeneration, that's going to slowly go up, and we can see that. That's kind of cool. It's like, you know, when you look at your task manager and you see the, the processor, uh, you know, usage or memory usage, that sort of thing. It's kind of cool. Uh, all right, and the last one I have here prepared is, uh, is my, the direction I'm looking, basically. So as I turn to the right, the graph goes up. As I turn to the left, the graph goes down. If I do a little spin here, let's see what it looks like. See, it goes up and then it comes out the other side because, you know, it's an angle and it's kind of how angles work. Woo! <laughs> that was interesting. But yeah, so it's kind of my take on real-time graphing. This one's, the, I think, the easiest to kind of visualize, see what's going on. Uh, it's definitely the easiest to draw with. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I just want to show you guys kind of the idea that I had, and I think it looks kind of cool. Not perfect. Here are the command blocks behind it. Let's go into game mode one. Um, not really going to explain them because it's basically just a lot of scoreboard manipulation using uh, different scoreboard objectives to track my walking distance or which direction I'm facing. Um, there's some invisible command or invisible armor stands here. That sort of represent the different nodes that a that a graph. <laughs> it's still graphing it even when I'm in game mode three. That's kind of cool. Uh, these the armor stands basically represent the different values that that the graph can take on and help are are basically a helpful tool in summoning the slimes at the right height and that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah. So hopefully I don't know. Hopefully you thought it was cool. That's about it. Thanks for watching.